Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I. Kishwani. We are here because we want to prepare for the GRE. We have been solving math problems out of this book here, the official guide to the GRE, the third edition. If you do not own this book already, purchase one immediately. You're going to need it. Today is our lesson number 97. Day 3097, 3 is to signify that we are in the third edition, third edition, day 97. We are covering the topic of permutations versus combinations, something that we started yesterday. And today we'll do two more problems. The topic you will find of permutations versus combination on page number 301. These problems that we are about to do, the two problems that we are about to do on the blackboard, they are not in the book, so don't try to look for them. Here's the first problem. It says, in how many different ways can a committee of five members be formed from six men and five women if the committee is to have exactly three men and two women? The first thing we notice is that we're forming a committee. If you're forming a committee, it's like choosing people to do a certain task. That's exactly what a committee is. A committee is chosen, a committee is made up to perform a certain task. In which case, order does not matter. We're not choosing president, vice president. Order is of no importance. We're not awarding prizes. Order is of no significance. Since the order does not matter, we delimit combination. Of course, we, are com we delimit combination because it's a committee. In committee, we combine members. Order does not matter. If the order does not matter, which means repetition is not allowed. Once we have chosen A and B, we cannot count B and A as another possibility. But that's exactly what happens. We learned yesterday that as we begin to choose a second person, we begin to repeat things. We begin to double count. A, B is one possibility and B A is another possibility, which is fine and dandy if order matters and you're dealing with permutation. But if you're not dealing with permutation, if you're dealing with combinations, then we can only take half as many. As soon as we start choosing the second person, how are many possibilities we come up with of choosing the first person and the second person, we can only take half as many to negate the fact that we'll be starting double counting. For example, here we have six men. We have six men and we're going to choose three of them. How many different ways can we choose the first man? Six different ways, of course. How many different ways can we choose the second man? Five different ways. As soon as we can choose a second person, there are not 30 possible ways. There aren't 30 possible ways of choosing two men uh, to, form, to be on a committee. There are only half as many because we will start double counting. We will start double counting. So to negate the double counting, to, to, to nullify it, the effect of double counting that is, we take the number of arrangement that we have come up with, in this case 30, 6 times 5, and we take half as many. Now once we begin to count, once we begin to pick the third person, how many different ways can we pick a third man? The answer is 4 of course. 6 different ways of choosing a first man, 5 different ways of choosing a second man, 4 different ways of choosing a third man, but as soon as we choose a third man, we'll start triple counting, and therefore we have to divide the total by 3. That's what it is. That's what it is. We talked about it yesterday. This is how many ways we can choose. This is how many ways we can choose men, three men, as it is, out of out of six. Now let's work on the women. Women, we are to choose two women. Let's do it in a different color so we can we can make keep keep the two separate. We are to choose two women out of a total of five. Just two women. How many different ways can we choose the first woman? The answer is five different ways because there are five women. How many different ways can we choose the second woman? Of course, the answer is four. But we know that as soon as we choose the second woman, we'll start double counting. So therefore, we take to take the total there, how many possibilities there are, and take half as many. There are four goes into two goes into four two times. There are ten different ways of choosing choosing ten different ways of choosing two women out of five. Two, two women out of five. Ten ways of choosing of choosing two women out of five. What about men? Well, we have two times three, which is six. Two times three is six, and six goes away with six. So we have five times four. Twenty ways of choosing 
3 men out of 6. So how many total ways? 20 ways of choosing men, 10 ways of choosing women, 30 is going to be one of the answer choices. One of the answer choices is going to say, is going to say 30 because it's the second answer. 30 is not the right answer. We do not add up the two figures. For each of these 20 different ways, listen very carefully, for each of these 20 different ways, we have 10 different possibilities of putting the women together. So there are 20 ways of choosing men and there are 10 ways of choosing women. For each of these 20 different ways of choosing a man, there are 10 possibilities how we can combine these men with the two women that we have chosen from here. And therefore, the actual answer is 10 times 20, not 10 plus 20. The answer here is 200 ways. There are 200 different ways we could have formed a committee. 20 times 10. 20 times 10. That's it. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. It says, out of five men, out of five men and five women, a committee of six, a committee of six, members, a committee of six members is to be chosen. Consisting of, consisting of three men and three women. So in this, in this example, we need equal number of men and women. We want equal representation of the two two genders. We want the parity: three men and three women. And the question is again very simple: How many different ways can a committee be formed? How many different ways can the committee be formed? I'm not going to write it here. How many different ways can the committee be formed? So, since there are five men and five women, there are same number of men and women, same number here. And so since we're choosing the same number of women and men, we don't have to do two times the work. We're just going to have to do it one, one time. We'll see what happens here. So how many different ways to, can we choose the first man? The answer is five. We're going to choose three of them. How many different ways can we choose the second man? The answer is four. As soon as we choose the second man, we'll begin to double count. So we take half as many. How many different ways can we choose a third man? Well, there were five different ways of choosing the first man, four different ways of choosing the second man, three different ways of choosing the third man. But as soon as we choose the third person, we begin to triple count. So we have to divide the whole thing by three. So that, that takes care of itself. And the answer here is 10. It's a bit too late in the story. A bit too late in the story, way too late in the story, but I'm going to put down the answer choices anyway as it appeared in the exam. A, B, C, D, E. 10, 16, 25, 81, and 100. So there are 10 ways. 10 ways of choosing 3 men, 10 ways, 10 ways of choosing 3 men out of 6, out of, or rather out of 5, out of 5, why out of 5, because that's what we started out with, there are 5 of 5 ways of choosing the first man, and similarly, and similarly, and similarly, there are 10 ways of choosing the women out of 5, because there were 5 women and 5 men. I don't know why 20 is not one of the answer choices, that's the classic second answer because people tend to add the two figures. I'm not going to add the two figures because for each of these 10 possibilities of choosing a man, there are 10 different ways we can combine these men with women. So it's 10 times 10. Total ways is so therefore, 10 times 10, or 100 different ways, 100 different ways to form our committee. There are 
a hundred different ways. That's all. I still do not know why 20 was not there as one of the answer choices. But there must be a reason for it. Perhaps they thought it was too, too simple an answer. We'll continue with this topic tomorrow. Uh, we'll do maybe two or three more problems tomorrow. I, I, I believe we will we'll do five videos. So tomorrow is going to be third in the series. Uh, day 98 and then day 99 and day 100 will be the end of this topic. And after that we'll move on to the next topic in the book, which is the probability permutation. And then on page number three, 304 we move on to probability. And eventually we'll get done with the whole thing. Do you understand? There's only one more topic after that left. Uh, 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 that is left after that. We'll, we'll take. We'll tackle it when the time comes. I'll see you tomorrow. Okay. Bye now.